Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today it's going to be the showcase of off-meta Chad Crow build. Okay, this is what I called him and this is what it's going to be. <laughs> so I call him Chad Crow because he is definitely a Chad. And uh, yeah, we're going to go over his gear for the first time. Okay, he's mostly quotation mark done. Okay, he's finished mostly because of the sword that he has right now. I cannot reforge. So this is a reforged unit. That is fully reforged because I need to ref uh, get her, get him a better sword to reforge. So we're going to go over the, the stats real quick. He has 25k HP, closer to the 26k, uh, 21k, uh, point 30, not point, but 20, 20,137 um, defense. And he has 75 effect resistance, 30% effectiveness. Those are the stats that you need to look out for. And the speed is 154. I need a better sword because this one rolled HP and effect resistance, but the last roll went to, into crit chance, so it's not an, good enough to reforge. This is the helm right there. A lot of defense, a lot of effect resistance, and all the other useful stats other than the crit damage is not really useful. This one also full of stats, speed, defense, HP. This one just full on defense uh, necklace. Uh, unfortunately, the, the last roll uh, was a three roll, so... When I, re when I reforged it, it stayed as a 3. If it was a 4, it would have gone up to 5. This one, just for speed, because uh, he actually needed some speed. It's not the best gear in the world, but, you know, it will do. And the 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 boots are also full of stats, with defense, flat, flat HP, and effectiveness and effect resistance. All useful yeah, stats for this guy. He has a twice limit broken uh, Noble Oath, and this is the build. He has a lot of defense, and as he get lo gets lower, the Noble Oath will give him even more defense and effect resistance, and he already has 75 to begin with, so he becomes basically really hard to debuff, and he, it's a really secure build. You want to build this crowd to make sure you kill someone, but because he has so much defense, if you manage to kill the person you want early, you can actually end everyone else, because he can get enough turns to use his ult ultimate multiple times. So most of the time when he's against support units or units that are not TPSs, he can actually last enough to kill them all. So this is the solo crowd. It's the Chad solo crowd build, okay? So this is its showcase. And uh, yeah, we're gonna move on to RTA and uh, that's where we're gonna use him. But also just to note, uh, my Vasari is a bit faster now because uh, uh, my, my previous effectiveness ring for this guy, the maximum speed I had on it was seven and uh, now he has a 15 ring. Uh, I used to be carried by this sword with 21 speed. Now I have this ring with 15, which is not too bad. So now he's at 251 speed, uh, no reforged gear. So yeah, we're going to jump into RTA and I'll see you then. All right, here we have our first opponent. Ooh, a Spez bro. I like this. Uh, so uh, normally we still going to go for the ban on the, uh, on the Athletica. But nowadays I haven't been finding too many, too many Athleticas. So I'm just going to go for the Lilias ban. I know I'm going to eat my words someday, but I'm okay with that. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to show showcase every single team where I use my Krau in. So, mostly, I use my Krau in a cleave team. Not because it's a cleave unit, but I want a secure unit that, if anything goes bad, it can, it can clean up the units that are left. That's his job, and that's why I built him for, right? So, that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to showcase the hybrid build. And once you see that work, um, yeah, we're just gonna, you're gonna see a lot more of them. So, Basar didn't get banned, so we always go for Basal Krau first picks because those are the most used units that we use in our comp. Every, everything else is sort of uh, off meta, and we're fine with that. All right, my internet does not, does not want to cooperate, I think, but as long as we don't crash and we don't uh, lose because of that, we should be okay. So, uh, I don't know what he's going to go for. That scares me because that tells me he kind of wants to outspeed me. But hopefully he doesn't pick that. Um, but yeah, the, this, this team is going to be a hybrid team with, the, with some DPSs and some supports. And uh, the idea is for me to nuke out the DPS units from the opposite team. And if they don't have revive, we just duke it out. We just wait for, the, for anyone else to die. And Krau will clean up everyone else. That's his job. Um... The other build, that, the, the other uh, comps we're going to use, uh, we'll explain them when we get there. But this is the first one. I call them the hybrid team because it's a, it's legit a DPS team or a, or a cleave team. But you slap one tank in there that get to, gets to clean up if shit goes wrong. 
that's basically what it is. So this guy is taking a very, very long time to pick his stuff. So I'm actually going to stop the recording and I'll come back when the drafting is done. Okay, these are the comps we picked. Unfortunately, they did pick the, the, the Athletica, so I will have to ban it. But the rest of the comps we should be okay with. And uh, yeah, let's hope uh, he actually gets a good connection and we don't have to wait a thousand years for him to attack. So we're going to ban his Athletica. Let's see who he bans. He bans my Blingo. So this is okay, mostly because I do still have my Stripper and I have a high debuff unit. The problem is going to be the, the, the Kiron. The Kiron will be the problem here. But uh, in the end, if we manage to kill everyone else or CC everyone else in the team, we it's it just not going to matter because the uh, crowd will finish everyone. So yeah, let's hope for that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get into this. Uh, I'm worried about this because... Um, I don't know about that crowd. The, I mean, that, that K-Run. That K-Run is scary to me. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to burn. I'm probably not going to burn. I'm just, uh, just going to hit this as is. Uh, just because the burn doesn't seem worth to me right now. Game, game is being a little bit unresponsive. Honestly, if we hit this uh, K-Run and we unbuffable him, it's amazing. All right. So we did land everything and we did push. So now it's time to stun. Leo, you cannot fail us now. We really need the Leo to clutch here. Leo clutched, even versus fire units. So everyone's stunned. And now it's time for Crow to work on this uh, on this Kiron boy. We're gonna get our defense buff up. And then we're gonna get our stuff up. So the Crow is never gonna deal too much damage, as is, right? I mean that's okay damage, but that's a DPS unit, right? So now we're just debuff the hell out of everyone. The Violet is a very good unit to... Okay, so we can burn this, uh, by the way, just because it's extra damage. I'll show you how it's done. And uh, they're still all asleep, so this is nice. Uh, I'm going to defense break the Violet, because he does seem to be the one that will escape my clutches. So this is basically a Leo debut. <laughs> this is basically a Leo debut, because... Okay, he gave up, because uh, control was too hard. Uh, well, <laughs> that was the Leo debut. I'm sorry, you guys. So we're going to try that again and try to showcase it better. All right, here we have our next opponent. I got to say, that last fight, uh, I don't think I ever got that lucky before in my life. Jesus Christ. Can you can, can you imagine hitting fire twice and landing all your debuffs with Leo? That is a crazy... Okay, this is this is not this is not very promising, but we're gonna keep we kept, we're gonna keep going. Oh, he banned Basar. Okay, this is nice. This is nice because I get to showcase the other um, draft. So when you, when they ban your Basar, uh, all you gotta do is pick ML Basar first. <laughs> it's not really hard. You just uh, go for the CR pusher first uh, because you when you cleave, you always want to make sure you tell your opponent you you're going for a cleave. Otherwise, it's no point. Oh, this is actually troublesome. I don't like that because of the uh, CDOM. The C down there just tells me that he might pick Athletica, which means that I should have probably banned Athletica. But, you know, I, I told myself when they start picking Athletica, I'm just going to switch my ban, and that's what I'm going to do soon. Um, so now we go for double DPSs, I think. And then the last one we just play around with, I think. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's see. I, I could I could snipe the, the, the auxiliary lots from him, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to leave it as is. But I don't have Soul Burn for this, so it's no point taking Pavel, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go with Leo again. Yeah, we're gonna go with Leo again. Go, Leo sounds good. Go. Leo sounds good because all these units... Uh, oh. Uh, actually, that's fine. I'll just ban that. If he doesn't pick Athletica here... Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. But it's always better than me losing all my stuff, so... I will go for that. Um, now, uh, honestly, I'm just gonna pick something fast. I'm just going to be I'm just going to pick something that he really wants to ban like that one. So I'm going to ban Cerise because Cerise is going to do a lot more to my team than the Ruzid. The Ruzid is very annoying, but still the um this is yeah, that's worse. So he goes for double CR. Well, he goes for triple CR because, you know, uh, CDOM is the CR pusher, the intermediate CR pusher. And then he has two DPS units. Now we get to showcase why the crowd is going to be so tanky. We're probably going to lose this one, but this is a good showcase because he's going to boost everything he has. And uh, honestly, he's probably going to crush everything. But for some reason, if we, if our, if our, if our ML Basar survives or he gets hit or something happens, we... Okay, so he does that. Sure. He actually pushed my Melbasar, so even if he kills that, um, 
I'm going to take a turn because I have Idol Shear and Immobasari is the highest attack unit there. That's not going to kill. That was another mistake. That was a bigger mistake than the other one, by the way. But <laughs> that's why you take Idol Shear on Blingo. I mean, what can you say? Alright, so they don't have immunity, so it's time to Leo to crap on their day. Uh, hopefully we need to stun that uh, Sidon because she still has more CR. We did stun the Sidon. No one else got stunned, but we're fine because we just need to push back the, um, the thingy here. And then we just need to protect our units, and then uh, Blingo will cleave after. Uh, who do I want to protect? Honestly, Leo is a, is a big champ, but I'm just going to protect my ML Vassar just for the healing. Because, um, I don't know, probably the Leo was the best protection, but we have the defense buff. He's not going to S3 here because he's not going to kill anything. He's probably just going to S1 the Leo, uh, or probably just going to give up, honestly. Hmm, or he's going to waste it because he's not going to get an extra turn. So I don't know why he did that, but I guess it was to push the Sitam. I mean, it doesn't matter what he would try to do. Like, if he gets confident here and his soul burns to kill my Corral, it's a perfect showcase because it's going to show you he will not have success. Success? Success. He will not be successful here. He kills, he kills my dude. That's fine. I soften up his uh, Sidon and that's GG because uh, Blingo is... Oh, okay. Okay, I kind of already showcased to him the damage of my Blingo. I didn't want to do that, but I did it accidentally. So, that's that. Oh, he healed. Oh no. That's a big, that's a big issue, guys. It's a horrible issue. Oh no. Oh no, guys. We're screwed. We're screwed. All right, guys, this is turning out to be everything but a crowd debut. I will use it one more time. <laughs> I'll use it one more time to showcase, but I'm telling you, it's, it's a thing, okay? Uh, pro maybe I'll try to draft poorly, <laughs> like on purpose to try to showcase, maybe. All right, here we have another opponent, Rupio. This is a funny name to say, Rupio. Um, I mean, he didn't pick Athletica. I'm going to go for my keep. Keep going for my Lilia Ben. Ooh, he does not like to get cleaved by RB, so that's good to know. We're gonna go for Basar first pick, as we always do. Uh, hopefully, we get to showcase our Kral shenanigans, but I'm not sure we will. <laughs> I, I'm not sure we will. It's it's a hard one to showcase because I need to lose, right? Okay, this is actually good. He's gonna fight me for speed. I like this. I'm liking this. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. I I wonder. Hmm, I wonder if he wants to take the the Spez, because SB Aramintha, or maybe he wants to steal my Spez. Either way, it's pretty scary, not gonna lie, but I'm, I'm, gonna, let, I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Uh, I will take my Leo, though. I will take that good old Leo, because now he's gonna be forced to pick Spez if he wanted to pick Spez. Because he's gonna be like, uh-oh, that's a stunner, he has a Spez rep, maybe, maybe he's gonna Spez me. I don't know, maybe you might think that. Yep, he does. So he's going to be forced to pick Spez there. Which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. How pathetic. How pathetic. Um, I, instead of picking my ML Basar, I think I should pick... I mean, no, ML, ML Basar sounds better. Because uh, he's going he's gonna to be very conflicted. Because he knows that the, his Aramintha needs... Uh, she needs to do things. And my ML Basar can screw it up. So, yeah, we're going to go for the same comp. Honestly, I want to change it up, but it's a comp that works, so for me, I'm fine with with it. Um, ML Ken. Okay, so for me here, the biggest ban is no doubt, is no doubt, like, I, I'm going to fail to showcase things again, guys. I'm just going to fail it, because if I ban this, it's a GG. I go first, no matter what he does. I just go first. Uh, should I lose on purpose? Like, I, I'm serious, guys. Look. This is, I don't have too much time to explain, but I ban this, uh, I get first turn with ML Basar, even if he bans uh, Basar, and GG, but I'm gonna ban this. I'm just gonna ban that, just because he's gonna have a higher chance of doing things, okay? Because look, my ML Basar, if I banned the Cerise, would have gone first, put immunity up, the ML Araminta doesn't do anything anymore, uh, Leo goes, Blingo protects, and then Leo, uh, and they has no strip for me, so uh, I would just cleave on the second turn, kill his, uh, his whole team, and GG. But yeah, we're going to pick this just because I actually want him to do some damage to me so I can showcase my crowd. So we're losing it. We're losing this on purpose to showcase how much damage this crowd can take and why he is 
such an important unit for me to use in a, in a cleave as a, as a, as a cleanup crew. Um, unfortunately enough, uh, sh she can strip everything on me. Uh, but I don't think that's going to change too much, too many things. I think we still might win, which is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we're, st we're still probably going to win. Maybe not. I, f I actually, like, when I was looking at the CR, I didn't see the Araminta. She was uh, right behind my Amabasar. So, yeah, we don't win this. But this is good. This is good. This is a good showcase. It is a good showcase. Unfortunately, our crowd does, as I said, he does get debuffed when he's full HP. And that's unfortunate because this is going to screw me up. Okay, we resisted. Nice. As long as we, re we resist those, we're fine. Okay. So now he's just, just going to go ham. Uh, if he tries to go for my crowd, now he's, he might be low enough to not get stunned. Exactly. He is low enough to get, not get stunned anymore. So this is good. This is nice. And I just want to show you the lifeline effect of, uh, of my crowd. You're going to see how much, how much he's going to survive. Unfortunately, I don't have defense buff up right now. And honestly, I have the feeling that I'm going to get a Bissell Crown to the face. And which is, which is going to suck a lot. But, you know, it's fine. When, once this Cerise gets the burn, uh, we also get screwed. So, not bueno either. We resisted, which is good. Okay, so now we can kill, now we can kill one of them. Unfortunately, I won't have defense buff. But you'll see, without defense buff, I'm still going to take quite a bit. Of, uh, of stuff to my face but you'll see you'll see they'll, scr they'll struggle to kill this uh, this shield and then I'm gonna defense buff and they're gonna struggle even more so that's that's a bad one now at this point at this HP we should not get any debuffs on, on us because we have a lot of effect resistance coming from uh, from uh, you know our stuff but apparently this Araminta still can hit some but we're, we're resisting most that was that's what we need to know I'm pretty sure we get to, we get to use two ultis here. Uh, I will push back the Araminta because she will she will be debuffing me a lot, and that kind of sucks. Yeah, she she's the only one that can do it, and unfortunately, yeah, I, I was expecting it. Unfortunately, the stun is gonna proc too. Uh, but you'll see. Now I have defense buff. Now you can see how much damage and sheer stuff I can take. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. As long as we get turns, uh, I mean, the stuns here don't really matter. Our S1 is not going to deal too much damage as long as we don't have anything that slows us. But now as you can see, all these DPS units are dealing basically no damage. And we have so much effect resistance that it's very secure to use, right? Imagine we haven't used our ulti yet. Imagine this, okay? My crowd didn't get to the ulti yet, okay? So now we'll, we'll see if, if he gets a, a turn. Because that's his main thing. He needs to get a turn. Okay, I resisted everything because I'm really low. See, if I've never used my ulti, I would have used it here, and I would have taken out one of the uh, enemy's team's uh, units, right? So that's this is just a very safe uh, route, a very safe uh, stuff. Right. We're not going to survive because it's th three DPSs versus us, uh, but I'm, believe, I'm pretty sure we still get another turn. Yeah, we get another turn. I, I believe we do. Okay, that, that burn, we, we're going to die, but we get another turn. We could have won this really easily, but we didn't want to. We wanted to showcase. <laughs> He's emote spamming. Little does he know that I gave him the win. <laughs> but as you can see, we would have taken another turn. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. The, 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 the crow is a chad. He takes a lot of damage. Uh, unfortunately, there was no occasion where the enemy was good enough for me to actually have a 1v1 situation or a 2v1 situation at the end. Uh, but yeah, that's that's fine. We're, we're showcasing things. All right, here we have our next opponent, Blue Eyes ZX. So against this guy, we're going to go with a different uh, approach. Uh, I will go for this one because for the next comp, uh, the Athletica is a worst comp to go versus. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense. But the next comp we're going to use Crow on, it's going to be a uh, full tank team, okay? Uh, it's going to be a team where you don't really want to touch anything. That's the main goal of the team. You, it's, it's, you just don't want to touch things. You'll, you'll see what I'm, I'm talking about. So we're going to go for this. And the second most picked unit that I have on this comp is probably going to be Dark Corvus, if I'm not mistaken. So we, we're going to run that. Uh, and then we're going to run a power healer for, uh, for our boy Dark Corvus. And then that's the idea is take someone out with Dark Corvus... And then, when things get 
you know, when stuff gets getting, when things get out of control, we do things, okay? So we're gonna go for Fire Arcades here, and we're gonna go for our good old boy, General Perks. Okay, so this is the type of team where you don't wanna hit anything. You don't wanna hit the crowd, because crowd's gonna ult you if you hit the crowd. You don't wanna get, you, you don't wanna hit the um, Dark Corvus, because you give him stacks to his uh, S3. You don't want to hit G Perkus because you give CR the, to the team, and you do want to hit the uh, fire um, Acadis, but you can only hit her every two turns because she goes S3, S2, S3, S2, and S2 protects herself. So I'm just gonna say right away, this is a very annoying team to deal with right here. Already very annoying, mostly because of the revives. Like these one shot units, uh, these one shot tank units are very weak to revive, uh, but I'm fine with that. At the end, I'm okay with that. But uh, at least we'll get to showcase how a tank comp really feels like with this. So uh, let's see what he picks. I don't know what to pick to really screw him up. I think I'm going to pick uh, ML Angelica. I think that sounds good. I know it does. it's not very good. <laughs> it's actually not very good. But lead. trust me. No, actually, he probably doesn't want a CR pusher here. Yeah, he probably doesn't want that. I don't want a reviver. Uh, revivers will be annoying to me, uh, but hopefully he will go for... Well, I think the ML Basar is going to be the banner for him. He goes for the Dark Corvus. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. We're going to lack on damage, but I don't think he has enough sustain uh, to tank my ML Basar. So I'll just sacrifice the ML Basar to take off the RB uh, ulti. I mean, not the ulti, the... You know what I mean. Let's get some immunity up. This is going to be a long fight. This is one of those comps that I need to be in the mood for them. Uh, otherwise, they're very, very annoying comps. Like, it takes a long time to do anything here. But we're okay. We're going to save our G Pergus um, S3. And we're going to try to provoke people to get ourselves give ourselves some CR. So we're going to force his S2 here. Yep, exactly. Because he wants to cleanse. Which is kind of useless, not going to lie. Because uh, his attack down on the RB is not going to be mattering too much. And uh, his S3 here is going to be wasted if he uses it. Exactly. So that was kind of a wasted shield. But, you know. Oh. Okay. So that's unfortunate because he would never do that if uh, if my, my guy wasn't squishy. But, you know. That's fine. He only noticed that was squishy because uh, of the... Oh, that's nice. Look at that stun right there. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal here. I mean, that's what she does. She heals and protects. Heals and heals. She heals and protects. That's all she does. And she does heal a lot. She's the 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 most Chad power healer in the game. She just really heals a lot. And that's why I built her. She's mostly PVE. Um, and she's a good pair up for Dark Corvus, I guess. If you want to cheese the uh, if you want to cheese the GVGs. So we're gonna we're gonna slap battle with this guy. We're, deb we're debuffing the shit out of him, and he, she has no more shield for him. <laughs> He's getting worried. <laughs> He's getting worried. He's like, wait, <laughs> wait, can I move? <laughs> Trust, me. Trust me. He's getting worried here. Oh my god, his dual attacks. He's gonna be really worried in a second. God damn. Yeah, he wants to kill that guy. Really bad. I, I, I don't doubt that he burns his fucking S1 here. Yeah, he does. He's really desperate. He's really desperate. He's like, oh, man, I need to kill that guy. I need to kill that guy. Uh, now we reset our S3. Meanwhile, we heal a little bit of the perks perks. Um, honestly, I'm just going to hit this uh, this boyo. Unfortunately, he's going to get a shield, uh, which is kind of annoying because I no longer have the damage to take him out. Uh, but this is this is a showcase, okay? Okay, this is fine for me because I'll, I'll I'll remove this right away. This is gone. Not not the best choice. Ooh, and I also provoked her, which is nice. Counter Pergus is a thing. All right, hopefully we stun the RB just so he doesn't move. <laughs> this guy is furious. Not gonna lie, this guy is furious. I mean, if we had the Dark Corvus in this draft, uh, we would have gotten a lot of kills already. Well, at least one, because there there has been a lot of uh, a lot of shenanigans going on. These will push us quite a bit, and not a provoke. Ah, oh, I resisted. Oh, just that one. Fun. Okay, so we're gonna push someone back. Uh, I think we're gonna push the RB back. 
Just because he, he does seem like he's the one that's gonna get the most out of whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna protect her and then heal the Perks a little bit. But I'm pretty sure Perks is dead. Perks is gone. I'm sorry, Perks. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get the revive. Get him. Yeah, I got the revive on him. Alright, this is nice. Because uh, my crowd will take damage here enough to kill one of the BSs. So I'm gonna kill this Vildred, and the Vildred is gonna be gone forever. I don't know if that's enough, but he's only 9k HP, so I only need to be missing that much. Alright. So that's that. And, uh, yeah, I like, he's gonna lose his Arby. That's just, that's just how it is. Okay, so Arby's gone. Uh, I will burn for extra, uh, turn. Just because it, you know, it helps me reduce the cooldown of my stuff, right? So the Arby's gone. Which is nice. 21k, not too shabby. And I'm gonna try to provoke this boy. There we go. So he's, he's starting to sweat a bit, as you can see. <laughs> he's starting to sweat. He's like, hey, hey, how, how am I gonna get, how am I gonna kill these people? Uh, I could burn. I should burn. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn just to completely fill up the bars, and uh, he's gonna be like, all right, uh, I need to deal with this, and uh, it's gonna suck. So unfortunately, my croc can get stunned and CC'd now. Well, not stunned, provoked. Um, but we're okay. Ooh, that dual attack is huge. That dual attack is huge for him. But guess what? If I get a turn, it doesn't matter. Yep, doesn't matter. <laughs> she protects herself. It's it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's too crazy. She's too crazy. And she she does not she does not get outsped by him. So hopefully he crits a lot on me, which is uh, which is nice. It's nice. We're just gonna probably that drag this out for. Uh, for a while now, and uh, our HP is gonna start decaying. It's already it's already started decaying, so this is probably not the optimal comp to draft. Honestly, uh, I wish I had something better to force the ban, because if you got the Dark Corvus in, it would have been a better a better thing to do. Uh, we're just gonna probably heal. Not gonna lie, uh, there's no point on not healing here. Uh, the end is always gonna power sustain, uh, and uh, Athletico would have done the same. Honestly. So, it's just unfortunato, unfortunato. Could have left the Arbion. Not gonna lie. This shouldn't kill unless I decayed enough. Probably decayed enough. Yes, a lot of damage, right? I, re I really did decay enough. Uh, I should have gone for the Provoke on the Fsessi. But if we, if we get a turn... Ooh, no, that's GG. She kills him there. Okay. Okay, the, the Charon will be a problem, but it's fire, so uh, I'll get to showcase some stuff. But as you can see, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a second a second ult here. Doesn't matter what. You should have burned. Ooh, decrease heat chance. Okay. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna go. We we have to, we have ulti next turn, so we're okay. Uh, as long as we do, as as we don't get provoked here, we're fine. We get another ulti off. We got provoked. Uh, we still might get another ulti off. We still might get another ulti. Who knows? Actually, no. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Because uh, she's going to get skill nullifier up very, very soon. And then I don't think I survived to remove that. Yeah. Skill nullifier and revives are very, very annoying to any, you know, tank one-shot comps. So it's kind of GG from there. But still, we get to showcase how tanky this, this goddamn guy is. And she burned for the, for the uh, reduced cooldown stuff. So that's that. Um, hopefully he starts missing now, though. Miss. Eh, that's unfortunate. Miss. Nope. I mean, we still tank, but we, we already decayed a lot. As you can see, we only had 18k HP there. That's why it looked like we had a lot of damage taken. Uh, but that wasn't a lot of damage. Uh, but that was that was a soul a soul burn. Yeah. It just seems like a lot of damage because our, 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 st our stuff is decaying. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to showcase anymore. That that's basically it. Uh, we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't think I have any anything else to do. All right, guys, that's the showcase for our chat crowd build. Um, I mean, I like him a lot. You will see a lot better showcases in other videos, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos where I use him and uh, you can see him work better. Unfortunately, we didn't really showcase him too good because the better comp that I use him on is the hybrid build, but honestly, we crushed everyone with that. 
like he he had no chance to use anything so that was unfortunate but uh yeah in the future you will see uh that comp you know struggling a bit more and then uh, and then you'll see the crowd solo and finish people off uh, as long as you subscribe already or whatever uh yeah that's basically it we're gonna go into our discord now uh, to remove to review some discord me memes all right here we are on our discord remember discord link is in the description if you want to check out uh, what we do around here so we're gonna go for the first meme i fear no ma'am says no ma'am i feel no man says violet but that thing 101 <laughs> cp uh serbia it scares me. Yeah, there was a there was a Reddit post of that guy posting uh, that it's full reforged gear on uh, on uh, Sermia and uh, it's pretty good. Okay, guys, you're gonna have to help me out in the comments on this one as well because I have no idea what this is about. Uh, Charles corrects someone's box. Oh, I get it. Okay, he's hunched over and then he corrects his posture and now he's standing up. Thanks, second best doctor. I get it. Now I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I'm sorry. I was asking for it, but I got it now. That's not what I meant to do, by the way. <laughs> okay, we have a really, really crispy meme over here. Native Scrow after he hits low HP. The title of this me message is, I keep resisting. <laughs> I keep resisting, that's what he does. He he keeps resisting, he stays on. Unfortunately, they didn't really showcase that too well in this, uh, in this um, you know. Well, actually, we did. There was a time where we it was solo versus three DPSs. You saw how much damage it took. He took basically no damage. Uh, even though the Araminta was burning the hell out of him and it penetrates the fence, so it's fine. Okay. Okay, new new ML5, Horado mixed in with the with the good old boy uh ML Ken. They could have changed the name. Marshall Ashley Ken, they could they could have done something with the name. Okay, I will never miss. 85% hit chance. Fire resisted. <laughs> okay, this one is pro probably lore-related. Lore Imagine not being able to summon your guardians with your skills. Um, this post was made by Krowgang, because I guess Crow Horse that's is a spirit. I, I don't I don't know how it works. I don't know the story. All right, here's a crispy crow meme. I see no god up here, other than me. <laughs> Collab drops me. Leaf back. <laughs> we ride it down, bitches. <laughs> that's a funny one. <laughs> Godly gear, almost full hero journal, champion plus, 100 million gold, and game players. Five leaves. Me. <laughs> Me with five leaves. I'm happy. It's good. Okay, here we have a, a little bit of a suck-up meme. I like it, though. It's, it's nice and fresh. Me. Finds Native's e E7 channel on YouTube, or YouTube channel. Uh, huzzah, a man of quality. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I, I appreciate it. Uh, Korea 1. Korean 1. Okay, there you go. I was like Korean none, <laughs> Korean one. That's uh, that's pretty good. All right, Korean K Korean one coming in with another good old clutch meme. Uh, when I call Leo trash uh, a trash unit, but then Native destroys Tenya or Tenha with him. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. <laughs> Leo is chat. Actually, today is a great showcase video for Leo. It's amazing. All right, guys, those are the memes for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more. Sh crowd shenanigans and a better showcase of how he is when he wants you once just hit that subscribe button i will do a lot more videos on him and i will use him a lot more in rta uh, this was more of an announcement video to show hey he's done now so now we get to properly properly showcase the guys so that's basically it and i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys on the next video Bye bye